Right, hello folks, you join us on a very busy Sharon, Sunday afternoon. Yes. And? I'm a little bit behind at the moment. Yeah, we've had so much going on at the moment. Tracy's getting ready to pack to go home for tomorrow. She's packed now. She's oh, she's packed, packed now, is she? My beef's cooked, which I don't think it'll cook so quick, but my beef's cooked in the slow cooker and my pork's not on yet, so let's get this ninja underway. Right, so we are cooking for about 13 people, Sharon. Yeah. A lot of them are children, but it's still 13 people. And uh, what are we actually using today, Sharon? We're actually using the slow cooker, which has got the beef in. We're using the Ninja 15 in one, which will have the pork in. We're using the kasuri, which will be doing a lot of hard work today. That's going to be roasting the parsnips and the carrots first off. And then it's got the potatoes to do and Yorkshire puddings to do. And we'll also be using our induction hob we'll as well. We'll also be using the Ninja. But oh. when I've cooked things from the kasuri, we'll go in there to keep warm. Because I like my kasuri, it's got a big base and I love doing my roast potatoes in that. So it's all about coordination, getting yeah. the timings right. If you've got one air fryer, you would struggle to do what we're doing for such a large people. Mm. We're lucky. We've got two air fryers in here. We've got a, a pressure pot. We've got a slow cooker and we've got the induction hob. We're not going to be using our big range cooker at all. So let's have a close look and see how far she's got already. Right, so what have we got here then? I've got my potatoes. I'm going to parboil them today because of the amount of people that I've got to cook for to get things done. Right. In here, I've got some frozen veg at the bottom and some fresh cabbage, which is cauliflower, broccoli and that. Right, that's not going on yet, is it? No. That's sort of the last thing to yeah. do. Right, and walking over, over here. here. Over here, I've got some parboiled carrots and parsnips. I sprayed them in with oil. I always sprinkle an oxo cube over to give it just a little bit more flavour. That will go over the cut parsnips and carrots and roast potatoes. Right, and they're going to be cooked in the kasori. kasori. But you have parboiled them yes. to start with. Right, what else have we got then? We've got a joint of beef in here. If I open it like that, try and keep the steam away. Yeah. How long has this been That's for? been on since eight o'clock this morning, and have that's on slow. Have you done anything else for that? Left it. So you literally put that in? I don't put water in, I just drop that in and it's all all that down there is what's come from the beef, its own juices. Right, so you can actually use that to make the gravy as well, can't you? Yeah, I do use that and I also use some of that to put in the base of the kasuri when I'm doing my roast potatoes so it gets the meat flavour as well. Right, okay. Put me water in, a good jug for what I'm putting in. So that might seem quite a lot of water, folks, but don't worry about that. I don't want it to run dry, the steam. Yeah. So so we're, we always put a little bit more water in than what they specify. So that is our roll of pork wash there. Hands. Just wash it's been hands. scored. Right, so that goes in now for... This size, this is about 2.2 grams. Kilograms. Per gram, sorry. Right, so how are we going to be cooking this joint? We're going to pressure cook this with the probe. Right, so where is this on there? Right, so that's where your probe lives, folks. So you just take that out there, it's on a little side casing. Right, so where does it go then? Right, you take this out. Right, that's a little plug, right? Okay. Put it in there for safekeeping so you know where it is. In with a probe. Okay. And you want that right in the middle of your meat, mm -hmm. don't you? So push your probe through. Right into the centre of your meat, folks. Shut your lid down. Right, so when you're setting it up with the probe, folks, you turn the unit on. You slide your slider right the way across. That gives you the pressure cooker menu. And you also make sure that your vent is closed. Right, so how do we get it onto the probe setting? We're going on the preset one. Right, and that, you've got the choices here of you've beef, got beef, pork. Right, we want pork. And if it says well done there or Which, shredded. So there's two ways to cook it. And how would we alter that? That way. Okay, so we want it well done. And then literally, you just press your start button. That's it. It will go through its pre-cycle and then it will start cooking and when that temperature probe reaches the desired temperature for it to be well done, it will be finished, yeah. won't it? But we're then going to finish it off by air frying it so we can get our crispy crackling. Yeah, that comes afterwards. Okay, shout, here we go with your Yorkshire pudding mix. Your two matching glasses. Right, okay. So you're breaking two eggs into there. And this is plain flour. Yeah. So you're taking that flour up to the same level as the eggs which we've put in that other glass, folks. Yep. I think I've gone a bit mad. Yep, yep. you've gone a little bit mad there. Yep, that's virtually there. So, okay, so that's the both eggs. So tip that one in there. Into your jug. Then we get our milk and do the same with the milk to the eggs. So again, everything's the same level. It's only three ingredients, folks. Eggs, milk, um, plain and plain flour. And a pinch of salt, mine. 
There you go. Right, so that's literally our three ingredients, and as Sharon oh, says, a just a salt. pinch of salt in there as well. And just mix it and leave it till you're ready for it. Yeah, the longer batter stands, I think, the better, isn't it? Yeah. So just whisk it up. It comes together pretty well, folks, so uh, don't worry too much. If you think there's some lumps in there, just give it a good beat. And you can even lose a balloon whisk on there, couldn't yep. you? And there you go, that's how we make our Yorkshire pudding batter. And that's everything for now. Right, so everything seems to be under control. The only thing she's got to do on top of this is the gravy. Now you'll be making that at the last minute, Sharon, yeah, won't you? Yeah. Out of the juices of the, um, the vegetables, the, the, the cooking liquor for the vegetables, and also some of that gravy juice out of the meat as well. Yeah. So sometimes beef can be a little bit tough, so being in the slow cooker really, really does tenderise that beef as well, folks. So, both meats are underway, all the veggies are prepped. The gravy and the Yorkshire puddings is probably the last things we're going to put in. Happy days. We'll bring you back when we're starting to put it all together. Right, we'll join you an hour later, folks. Sharon's uh, had a look at the uh, temperature on the probe there. Let's just show you. So you can see that from the uh, target temperature needs to be 80 degrees C, and it's measuring about 56, 55, 56 degrees centigrade at the moment. So. You reckon Tom, it's to get the other stuff on. Right, I'm going to just switch the potatoes on to get them parboiling. Right, they're going to be started off on the um, induction. induction hob. Now I'm going to take this over to me meat. So this is the beef, folks. As you know, that's been cooking for a long time now. Just right. pour a bit of that over the meat first of all, just to get a bit of that liquor going through it, just to moisten it up. And then she's taking some of that and that goes into the base of our cassori. She's taking the crisper tray out, yep. Sharon. Crisper tray is out. There you go. These have been sprayed with olive oil. I'm just going to put a little bit of oxo on them, a bit more flavouring. And literally just pour them into here. Just get them coated with them juices, folks. That just adds a hell of a lot more flavour, Sharon, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, just give it another. into our cassori. 185, we're going to do them for 15 minutes. I am going to be turning halfway through, just giving them a shake. And don't forget folks, they are parboiled anyway. Yeah. So we're just getting them crispy. And I'm just going to switch me veg on low as well. I'm going to have that on the lowest. So that's it. That's Potatoes it. on, veg on. Pa carrots and parsnips. Roasted vegetables on. That's coming up now, that's nearly up to 60 degrees already. Yep. Over there the beef is cooked, so all you've got is your gravy and your Yorkshire puddings. That's it, well roasted potatoes, but they should be done and the roast potatoes will be going straight in there. The parsnips and carrots will be going in the Ninja to keep warm. Brilliant. Right, okay, what's end baby, what's that, what's ended? These are done now. Let's have a look at them. Yep, yeah, they look lovely. And what are you gonna do with these now? I'm just gonna stick these in the Ninja to stay warm. Right. And will that just finish them off, maybe roast yeah, them a little bit more? Yeah, we'll do it, continue. Yep, so they're going to just, she's just putting them in that little pot there, folks. And then over to our ninja. There we go. So just whacking them in there. You're just using the roast setting then. So you are just going to finish them That's off in it. here. Yeah. And we would have done that in the cassori, but it's just that you want the cassori to do something else now, don't you? Hopefully. Take these out now. Right, so they've been boiling. That's the roast yep. potatoes. Got them off there. So you're just going to drain them. Again, just been parboiled, folks. There's quite a few potatoes there, Sharon. There's over 40. Hey, there's over 40. So I've counted, so they've roughly got about three to four. And you're hoping all these are going to go in the cassori? Hopefully. I'm just going to stick them in my bowl. This bowl here, because I'm going to spray them with oil and put me oxo. Ooh, I'm have to do part at a time. Too many in there. Yeah, because it won't stir properly. Right, so, nice glug of olive oil, folks. Get plenty on there, because that's what will give them the crispy coating, so. And do you remember, I'm going to put more meat juices in there for the flavouring of the meat. Yep. It's doing the same with the Oxo Cube again, folks, so uh, we're not going to salt and pepper them. Remainder with the Oxo Cube. Just turn them over. And this is where it's great if you have two air fryers yep. when you're cooking for loads of people. So you're going to do this lot put in here. Put more meat juices in, they've all gone. All right. There we go. Just whack them in there. Oh. 
Here we go. So we're now going to transfer them parboiled potatoes into our kasori. Now we want these to crisp well, up I think as well. I can add the rest because there's plenty of room yeah. in the kasori. See, that's still. the thing with a big kasori, folks. You've got loads of room in there. I'm just so, going to do the same to these potatoes that I've done to them. A bit more oil and the rest of the oxo. So. There you go. Very 25 long. minutes. So they're going on to just basic air fry for 200 degrees centigrade for 25 minutes, Ooh. folks. There you go. We will be turning them over as we go. Right, that's just finished, Sharon. Yep. This was up to 80 degrees. So it's just finished, folks. And as you can see, we haven't got any crackling on that. I'm just going to take this out and I'm going to empty this water out because it's going on air fry now. Right, okay. So we can get the crackling. Right. So you're leaving it in there. We're going to put some salt on the top. Yep, she'll so salt it. We'll put it back in there and then you'll just put it on air fry, as Sharon just said, and that will give us our lovely crackling. We know it's cooked in the middle now because the temperature probe turned it off when it reached its 80 degrees. Well, let's get you some salt. Right, here we go. Got the old pink Himalayan salt there. And just whack that over the top of the skin. Put plenty on, folks. This brings you out the lovely flavour of that, that, that pork skin shell, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Right, I've took the probe out. Make sure you put the other little thing back in there. Yeah, don't leave that hole exposed, folks. That's the little blanking plate there that goes back into your, your little um, hole there where the probe goes into. And then that can be then put back in there like that. Shut the lid down. Now we're putting that on air fry yeah. now. How long is that going on for? Uh, about 20 minutes to get it crispy. Right, so we might it might be done before that. That's not our goal. Yeah, we're going to check. Yeah, so it might not take 20 minutes, folks. So that's going on an air fry. So we're looking at our potatoes now. How are they doing? Wow, look at them roasters, folks. They look absolutely fantastic. Just coming in, have a look at these uh, roasted veg now, folks. Look at them, look. Don't want to get the camera too near because it's all steamed up. So they are absolutely lovely. Now again, we're not going to put them on. They're, they're keeping warm in there at the moment just by sitting there. So we're happy with that. Right, I've just got the uh, beef out, folks. So we've got the string on that as right. well. So I just want to cut through the in a minute, yeah. string there. That bit, folks, is Chef Perks. Hmm. Right. What are you doing, baby? I'm just going to put these into the warming one now, and then I'm going to start my Yorkshire puddings. So these are all done. Look at them. And that will just literally go over into the... Um, ninja. The Ninja with the other stuff, and that will just be put on keep warm. I'll put that there. I'll just lift down that beef, and that can go in there, look. Right, baby. They've been in for about five minutes, haven't they? Yeah, the oil should be nice and hot. Always put it in hot oil. Yeah, you can see it's bubbling. There you go. And they just go on for a bit longer. We will check them. Yep. I'm going to put some meat juices in here, and then we're going to get some water from the vegetables and start making our gravy. There's the meat, beef all cut up, folks. So just get some of that stock. That's all the flavour in there, folks. I'm doing three All, the, all them beef uh, trimmings like, as like well that are in there. That, yeah. All that's in there. Because there's a lot of us today. In with the uh, water. There we go. Marvellous. And that will make a lovely gravy, folks. If we put, we'll put some more thicker gravy granules in. Get it in on the hob. Yeah, we'll just cook that on the hob, just to cook it down a bit. And when it thickens up, that's when we know we're ready. 
There's one batch of Yorkshire puddings, folks. As you can see, they've risen lovely. That mix works all the time. Look at that, look. Superb. Right, all coming together now, folks. Just drain the veg. That goes into one large container. Brilliant, look at that, look. That will go in the center of the table. Right, let's have a look at that then. Looking good. Mm. Yeah, we'll give it a couple more minutes. That should be enough for that then. The gravy now, as you can see, is thickened up lovely with all the juices from the meat and also the veg juices in there. We're happy with that. So this is where we're having dinner, folks. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Plus a few more plates as well. We've got baby Frank coming in as well. I'll put that, put the potatoes in there. Right, roasted veggies just come out, folks. Look at that, look. Lovely, oh, that's hot. So in with the potatoes, cool, that is hot. I'm gonna have that bit of carrot. Mmm. Them carrots are so sweet when they're roasted, fantastic. So I think these should be done now, the second lot of Yorkshire's. Yeah. They're done. Yeah, we'll leave them out. Yeah. Very hot, long and fluffy, folks. Look at that, look. He's done and all. Hey. He's done as so well. We're going to get the pork out, shall I'll carve it and then we'll put it all on the table. Look at that, folks, look. Give that crackling a bit of a tap, shall Ooh. Look at that. Um, right, there we go. There's 11 of us around the table, folks. All come together in the end. It was a bit manic, but uh, we got there. We got another two, Jimmy and baby Frank. They're and gonna, Charlotte, they're eating in their bit. They're, in, they're gonna be eating in their bit. Charlotte's at work at the moment, so there you go. Let's just have a little show you what we got there. We got our pork there. We got our beef, we got our vegetables, we got our roasted vegetables, our roast potatoes, and our um, Yorkshire puddings on there, and a big jug of mixed gravy at the end there. Everyone could look quite happy because you're going to be eating now. Oh, you just went away. <laughs> so there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Just a spasmodic one. A little bit hectic, a little bit busy. Nothing's really planned. you just got to bring the timings together. You can stuck in now, folks. I am. I'm just doing And I'll stand here and finish this. off the video, Sharon. Thanks very much. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And we'll see you in the next videos. And until then, bye for now. Mom.